Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Yoga for Weight Loss Flow Core Transformer. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position, feet planted firmly into the earth. Really uh, think about grounding your shed bones into the earth and lifting up long through your spine, extending tall through the crown of the head. We're going to start just by warming up our spine and all our abdominal wall with some cat-cow breathing here. So you're going to inhale arch your spine and exhale round it out inhale here exhale as you're doing this I want you to think about on your inhale expanding um, your low belly your diaphragm breathing diaphragm area in all directions like 360 degrees and as you exhale squeeze everything in and out inhale here Exhale. Exhale through the nose, get that ujjayi sound. Now since we want to get some weight loss benefits out of this flow, we are going to be moving pretty quickly through everything. That way you get your heart rate up just a little bit, uh, but more importantly we'll be focusing on building long lean muscle and amping up our metabolism with all of this core work. From here, extend your arms forward. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center and namaste or Anjali Mudra and just twist to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, this time twisting to the left. Inhale up. This whole time really thinking about keeping the length in your spine. We're not doing crunches or anything here. We're channeling our core strength from a deeper place from the muscles, all of our stabilizing muscles all along the spine. A couple more here. Inhale up. This time we're going to take it a little deeper. So you're going to inhale and exhale, extending your arms. Inhale up. A little bit different twist, warming up our whole side body, getting into all of our oblique muscles, keeping that breath through the entire thing. Last one on each side. Very nice. Now, from here, inhale, interlace your fingers, Charlie's Angels Mudra. We're going to inhale and Exhale, bring your feet together and just lift your legs off the ground. So you're going to inhale. Now we've got a nice diamond shape with our legs, stretching out our inner thighs and exhale, lifting up. You really want that lift to come from that higher place. So think about your spine lifting your legs, not your legs lifting. That's how we're going to activate the core muscles. Really using the breath to help with this movement. This is your last one. This time you're going to hold it. It's really grounding into the earth again with your sits bones. Lengthen that spine, extending out of the crown of your head. Legs are lifting from your front of your low back spine. We'll do some quick pulses here. So extend out and just pulsing at the top here. If you need to plant your fingertips behind you, absolutely feel free to do so as we do these last few pulses. Legs come together, arms extend up, holding that balance for just a moment. And now everybody, fingertips behind you. Do some uh, core twists here. So inhale, extend your legs out just a little bit. Roll onto your right hip and exhale for a twist. Come back to center. Roll onto your left hip. Exhale, bring it together. Do a few of those on each side. Remembering to keep that spinal length. Fingertips here are going to be a great way to help with that and help with balance. Last one on each side. Come to center, holding that balance again, really pressing away from the earth, lifting your legs. Arms reach up, and this time, exhale. 
exhale, making your way onto your hands and knees. So however is going to be most comfortable for you to get there. <coughs> really strong fingertips here, planting onto the earth. We're going to stretch out those muscles we worked a little bit. So inhale, exhale. Using deeper cat cow on this hands and knees position. Now from here, I want you to tuck your toes because we're going to be coming off of our knees here in a moment. So you're going to inhale the right leg uh, so it extends behind you, lifted behind you. Exhale, come off of your left knee and bring your right knee into your chest for a hands and knees core plank. Inhale up, exhale, inhale. So think about grounding into the earth, strong palms lifting away. Last one. Exhale. Now really lifting in and up. You're going to press yourself back into down dog. Right leg lifts again. And this time just tilt your hips open to the side and drop that foot behind you. Take a moment to stretch here. Awesome. Now from here, square your hips again. Right leg is going to extend, lift towards the sky. You're going to exhale, bend your knees and elbows, get that good momentum, and right leg is going to come to the upper outside of the right arm. Really challenging our core strength here. Back to down dog splits. This time twisting. Bring back up. Exhale to the outside of your right arm. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Couple more. One more round here. Exhale. Then we'll come off of our arms. Don't worry. Twisting. And last time, inhale up and exhale. Come to center, really lifting in and up. Step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, wave long spine. Bending your back knee. Rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. <sighs> Hands come to heart center in Anjali Mudra. So shake out your wrists if you need, do a little magic wrist clear, massage. I know we were on our hands and wrists a lot, so whatever you need to do here, from, once you're ready, you're gonna inhale, arms up, extend your legs, we'll do some fists of fire lunges. So exhale, fists come to low belly, lunge. Inhale up, exhale. And do them a little bit faster too. Strong exhale each time you do the lunge. Last two, last one, awesome job. Inhale, extend your arms, exhale, firmly planted into the earth. Step back into your plank, come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare. Weave your spine in and up, coming into a cobra pose. You can come into up dog if you want. Just stay here for a moment to stretch out your abdominal wall. And exhale, back to down dog. Very nice, you can pedal out your feet here. Just notice the difference on your right side. It's a core transformer, but we're working our whole body. Now from here, come back onto hands and knees. We're gonna do that whole sequence on the other side. So inhale, we'll start with that gentle cat cow. Get some good stretching in. From here, tuck your toes under so you have that strength to lift up off of your knees. Left leg extends, really pressing out through your heel. Inhale, prepare, exhale. Knee comes to chest for core plank and you lift off of that knee. Inhale up. Inhale, inhale, get our whole deep core line with this movement. Last one here, exhale, really lifting in and up, press yourself back into your down dog, right leg extends, but, or left leg, excuse me, extends, and drop behind your right leg. 
Okay, nice stretch. Getting our hip flexors and our psoas here, as well as stretching out our core that we're working so much. And now square off your hips, left leg extends towards the sky. You're gonna exhale, come to your upper left arm. Big core challenge here. Exhale, twist. I know your arms are feeling it too. Exhale to the upper left arm. Inhale up, twisting to the right. Inhale, last set here. Inhale, lift up, twisting to the right, coming back to center. Really lifting in and up, create space for that leg as you step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhale here, wave long spine, bending your back knee, rolling in and up to that high lunge. Inhale and take a moment to settle your namaste. Again, you can stretch out your wrists. That's a lot of arm and wrist work for our, our core transformation. Inhale here whenever you're ready. We'll do those quick fists of fire lunges. So inhale up, exhale. So using your breath to do this. Last couple on this side. And last one. Very nice. Inhale, arms reach out. Exhale, plant strong fingertips onto the palms. Stepping back into your plank, come onto your knees. We'll do a healthily aligned chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Rolling yourself in and up. And exhale. Very nice, coming back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet for a moment. We'll do one more vinyasa just to wave all that energy through our body. So inhale, coming onto your toes, bending knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, weaving in and up. And exhale. Very nice. Now from here, just come onto your knees. Take a moment to sit back in child's pose. You can rock back and forth here. Now wherever you are, you're going to walk yourself onto your back, coming into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. We'll do one last ab challenge, though, real quick before we come to fully rest. So extend your left leg long out on the floor. Lift your right knee about 90 degrees here. You're just going to drop your right knee open to the right. Lift it up. Extend it towards the ceiling, really pressing out through the heel. You don't have to have a straight leg here. You can have a slightly bent knee and just exhale towards the earth. Just to hover and lift back up. Bend the knee, open to the side, back to the ceiling. So we're using that deep core that we were channeling through the whole workout to move our legs. Again, we want the leg movement to come from the spine and the deep core, not necessarily from our leg strength. And last set on this side, right knee drops open, and add to a hover, then place it on the earth, switch sides so right leg extends out long on the floor, left knees lifting, you've got that 90 degree angle, and drop your left leg open, left leg extends to the sky, drops down to the earth. Back to that bent knee. You want controlled movement here. So we're controlling the momentum, not just swinging our leg around. Actually think about controlling it, activating all of the deep core muscles to move the leg. Last couple on this side.
something to the left. Extend, really pressing out through that heel. Come to a hover and perfect. Now bring both of your knees into your chest. Give yourself a quick hug. Way to show up on the mat today to develop all of that deep core strength so you deserve some love and some hugs. You can rock back and forth. That can feel really good on the spine as well. Then from here, just plant your feet uh, about hip width distance. You can do a little wider and gently windshield wiper the legs. So dropping them to one side and then the other. And from here, extend your legs out long. Take a full body stretch, really stretching out the whole abdominal wall that we just worked so hard. Even stretch one side longer and then the other. If you have any other stretches that you want to do, um, feel free to take that time now to do them. Um, you can also go into another practice if you want. I do have tons of stuff on the YouTube channel for you. Or you can come into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Hang out here and let all of that strength that you've just cultivated you know, settle throughout your whole body. And the cool thing about doing core work like this is you're really working that deep core. Your, your strength comes from within. You're not doing a bunch of crunches and you know hurting yourself or anything like that. You're really developing all the core strength that you have inside of you and letting it surface to the outside. So take that with you throughout the day. I hope that you enjoyed this practice. Definitely want to see you on the mat again soon. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notifications when the new videos come out. And I do have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list. So make sure you're signed up there. There's a link in the uh, description below. Namaste.